Good morning. It is Friday, April 30th, and welcome to this episode of Tiger Vision News. I'm Chris. And I'm Peyton. This is a reminder that, as always, FCA and Teens for Christ will be meeting in the old gym at lunch today. Everyone is welcome. Now, if you'll please join us for a moment of silence. Would you please stand for our Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag? Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This broadcast is brought to you by Cornerstone Funeral Home and Crematory, Heath's Hardware and Supply, Renfro Electric, First Star Bank, and Court Gibson Education Foundation. Today is National Adopt a Shelter Pet Day. This day was established to help bring awareness to the thousands of pets that don't have homes. If you are unable to adopt a shelter pet yourself, you can help out by donating supplies. There are a lot of ways to help make a difference in a shelter pet's life. There are many animal shelters around this area filled with animals that are waiting to be brought home. Now let's go to Brooklyn for this week's weather forecast. Today we are finally moving away from our stormy weather for a day or two with the high for the day being in the mid to upper 70s with lots of sunshine. Moving into the weekend, we should expect to continue to see sunshine with mild temperatures in the mid 70s on Saturday and then again on Sunday. There is another slight chance for scattered showers both days. Monday will be partly cloudy with temperatures in the 80s and a slight chance of rain increasing overnight. Moving on to Tuesday, we will have mostly cloudy skies with a 40% chance of precipitation and slightly cooler temps with highs in the upper 60s. As always, we'd like to thank Channel 6 for this week's weather graphic and now a word for one of our sponsors. Fort Gibson Education Foundation's desire is to help our students receive the best possible education our community can provide. We make every effort to be the highest quality educational system in the state. Donations equal opportunities, opportunities for students and teachers to be their best. An opportunity to build, design, and compete. An opportunity to create, design, and share. An opportunity to encourage, develop, and provide. An opportunity to travel, process, and gain real-world knowledge. An opportunity to honor, celebrate, and inspire. When you donate to our Fort Gibson Education Foundation, 100% of what you donate goes back into our classrooms for students and teachers so we can give them as many opportunities as possible. We are your Fort Gibson Education Foundation. Congratulations to our cast and crew of Lay Miz for their outstanding performance over this weekend. This year's presented challenges that our students and staff have not faced before, and few of us truly know how hard these students have worked in order to pull this off during a pandemic. However, despite the odds, they were able to make the show a resounding success. Congratulations also to Mrs. Wicks, Mrs. Brandon, and Mrs. Dennison for their leadership and perseverance through this pro process. Without them, none of this would have been possible. Seniors, a few very generous local donors have come together to provide a car which will be given away to a senior student during the upcoming graduation ceremony. In order to be eligible to win the car, senior students must complete a one-page writing assignment. The names of all eligible contestants will be put into a drawing and the lucky winner will leave graduation with a new vehicle. The submission is due by Monday, May 17th at 5 p.m. and all submissions must be turned in on Google Classroom. Seniors, see your email for more details. Also seniors, please see your email Mr. French about any scholarship offers you have received, including those you are not accepting. Now let's go to Adriana for this week's sports. Hey Tiger Town, congratulations to our girls golf team as they punched their ticket to state this past Tuesday. Lane Alshai was an individual regional champ. The girls golf state tournament will be Wednesday and Thursday, May 5th and 6th at Cushing Country Club. Congratulations to our boys golf as they placed fourth overall at the FTG tournament over the weekend. Only three strokes separating fourth and second place. Individually, 
Both Trent Downey and Jackson Glasby made the top 10. They will be participating at regionals in Miami on Monday. Congratulations to our tracksters who competed in the Verdigris Valley Conference over the weekend. Caden Goss won first in the 3200, 1600, and 1800. Or 800. Sydney Terry won first in the 100 meter hurdles and both were named conference champions. They will be participating in regionals tomorrow in Shakota. The baseball team started a bi district tournament yesterday and will play through tomorrow. There is an updated baseball schedule due to recent rains. Today they will play Eufaula at home at 5. Saturday will be Casha Hall at home at 1. Monday they will play Salina at home at 4 30. The baseball regional tournament will be next week beginning Thursday. Game times, opponents, and bracket will be coming later. Our boys and girls soccer teams had a tough night against Metro Christian last week, with the boys losing 2-1 to one and the girls 1-0. to zero. They will play in the first round of playoffs Tuesday. We want to wish all of our teams the best of luck, and as always, come out and support our Tiger and Lady Tigers. And now, let's go to Brooklyn Landers for a story over our swim team. This year I competed with the swim team for the first time. It's been a fun way to get more active as well as meet other people. Let's talk to some of my teammates about why they joined the swim team. I joined the swim team because Coach Dean always inspired me to join and I thought it was a good opportunity in high school. I joined swim because it was always a part of my life, all my family swam and then I just joined I swam and Tiger Sharks program all the way up. Anyone can join swim even if you haven't swam before. Many of our first year swimmers went to state this year and placed very well. My accomplishments this year were making it to state with all of my events and also meddling in my relay, and which is pretty cool because I'm a freshman. So, My advice to a first year swimmer would be to not skip because you want to maintain your strength and you don't want to lose it. This year I made it to state in all my events and meddled. This year I broke the backstroke record four times and my relay got first place at state. I think you should join swim because it's a good way to put yourself out there and gain self-confidence. I think you should join swim because it's a good opportunity to build friendships. People should join the swim team because it's very fun and you make new friends and it's a really cool environment too. Um, also it helps with other sports if you're playing soccer or anything it can help with that too. So, If you're interested in joining for Gibson Swimming you are welcome to come down here anytime to talk with me about it or talk with Miss Adney and Mr. French. Uh, swimming is the first and second try. We have our state championship in second try and we work well with people who are in other sports and the play things like that. Uh, when I swam in high school, I participated in band, cheerleading, and swimming and made it work somehow. So, I really enjoyed swimming this year. The friends and lessons I have learned will last a lifetime. Those underwater shots were really cool. Yes, they were. I didn't even know you could join the swim team if you haven't been on it before. Me either. Could be a lot of fun. See Coach White if you're interested in joining the team next year. Last Thursday, eight select choir students traveled to Enid for OSSAA State Solo and Ensemble Contest. Out of nine entries, eight of them received a superior rating. This resulted in 18 medals, and one entry received an excellent rating. Here are the results. Excellent entry solo, Tyler Jones. Superior ratings for solos went to Garrett Abel, Cheyenne Drake, Landry Moydell, and Kenley Wilson. Superior ratings for duet went to Garrett Abel and Kenley Wilson and Garrett Abel and Landry Moydell. Superior ratings for trio went to Kendall Bashirs, Cheyenne Drake, and Melody Evans. And superior rating for mixed ensemble went to Garrett Abel, Kendall Bashirs, Gerald Brown, Cheyenne Drake, Melody Evans, and Landry Moydell, and Kenley Wilson. Congratulations to everyone. On Thursday, our jazz band earned straight superior ratings at state. This is the 10th consecutive year for our jazz program to receive this high honor. We also had five jazz students audition and earn a position in the 2021 Oklahoma Bandmasters Association All-Star Jazz Band. Juan Sandoval, lead tenor sax, Nathan Jones, lead trumpet, Josh Miller, trumpet five, Ian Jorgensen, trombone two, and Colby Berry, percussion. These students will perform at the 2021 OBA Summer Convention in July. Congratulations to our Animal Science Quiz Bowl team as they competed at the state level on Friday and finished the year as state runner-up. The team members included Garen Court, Cameron O'Dell, Josh Yoder, Carson Osborne, and Caden Cooper. For Gibson FFA also had eight state FFA degree recipients, Mason Boyles, Garen Court, Josh Yoder, Coy Nell, 
Jace Gillum, Trent Downey, and Cameron, Oy Cameron Oydell and Caden Perry. Garen Court received the Academic Excellence Award. Congratulations to all. And now it is time for this week's Terrain Train. Where are you taking us, Chris? We are going to be going to the Salt Flats in Bolivia. Let's take a look. Today on Terrain Train, we will be taking a trip to Salardi Uni in Bolivia for the Salt Flats. The Salt Flat is the largest one on Earth, stretching more than 4,050 square miles and 393 feet deep. It's almost entirely made of salt with a bit of brine and lithium. During the dry season, this place is covered in polygonal salt mounds and during the wet season, it becomes the world's largest mirror. The reason for the way it looks is because it used to be a huge salt water lake during the prehistoric times known as Lake Minchin. It was dried up about 40,000 years ago. Despite being mostly barren, this place is a huge flamingo breeding ground. The area is also used as a huge transportation ground for all sorts of things, lithium and salt being the major ones. Along with the mass salt flat, you also have hot springs which visitors can bathe in and beautiful looming volcanoes. If you ever visit Bolivia, this is definitely one you should add to your list. Life is so much more than the small pocket we live in and we get to explore it to the best of our extent. This has been Chris, reporting for Tiger Vision News. What an interesting and beautiful place. It is an amazing place to learn about and quite beautiful to look at. This is a reminder that yearbooks are on sale for $50. If you're unsure if you have pre-ordered your yearbook, see Ms. Harrison for more information. Fort Gibson will be providing a driver's ed course this summer. If you are interested, you must put your name on the list in the high school office. Students, we need your help. At this time, we only have 60% of our enrollment forms turned in. The sooner you get your request in, turned in, the sooner you will get the schedule for next year. The USDA announced last week that all students will receive free meals next year for the entire school year. Student participation in meals is important and helps the school. The federal meal reimbursement rate is going up next year too, making it even greater advantage to students and the school when meals are served. The Lieutenant Governor visited the ELC and IE this week to present students with a proclamation for winning the county level of the Oklahoma Trash Poster Contest. He then talked with 5th grade about the importance of education and adding to the industry of Oklahoma, as well as the cool things you can enjoy as a tourist in Oklahoma. Thanks for watching this week's edition of Tiger Vision News. I'm Peyton. And I'm Chris. Remember to tune in next week for more Tiger Vision News.